came that made me say, okay, all the more. Is this shit really that good? Let's go. So here I am. I bought my little TRs and objectives and my Purif. And, uh, and I said to the supervisor, because now by the time I finished, that was 11 o'clock at night. And I'm like, uh, okay, well, when do we start? You know, she said, when can you come in to start the course that finish up? I said, you know, let's start tomorrow. I, I said, I can be here seven in the morning. I said, well, we don't start till, till nine. I said, you know, I've come here to do something. I've been here all day. You guys say you got a product, you want it, you know? So she came in at eight o'clock for me. So I came in and I just started. And I read all my shit in there and, uh, and uh, sounded good. And the first exercise is a thing called OT TR0, which is basically where you sit three feet apart from somebody. You cannot have any, any thinking mechanism, and you close your eyes, and you're totally relaxed, but there's another person three feet in front of you doing the exact same thing. And the exercise is to be in communication with that person and your environment. But fully, the key word is confronting, which is, he defines as facing without flinching. So without thinking anything, like if I'm thinking, I'm doing it with you, I'm thinking, okay, Mark, he's got that beard and he's probably hiding by, then I'm flunking, because I'm thinking, instead of just being there, without any thinking. And so I have to be able to be, and you do this, it says, until you get a major stable win, okay? So I say, fuck it, okay, here's my first Scientology shit, and I'm there with some whoever, and I'm sitting there, and I'm facing him without flinching, and I had a major, major stable win. What I did, according to Scientologists, and I don't have any other nomenclature for it, so it would work for me, but I went exterior. So in other words, uh, the concept would be your Thetan, you, your soul, whatever you want to call it, that's who you are. You're not the body, I'm not Jason Begay. Jason Begay, it's like, it's like buying a new car. I'm the driver of the car, okay? So basically, I went exterior, and to get back to the beginning of my story, I felt for the first fucking time the biggest win in my life. I knew who I was. That question that I'd been asking since I was cognizant, who am I? I knew who I was. And this was huge for me. I said, wow. And this is not even that fucking auditing stuff they talk about. This is just some fucking, you know, some thing. Yeah. And I said, shit, that's awesome. So I was blown out of my socks happy. Like, I, and I, I, I mean, I was like, oh, so that's who I am. You know, because I knew I wasn't this thing, because I sometimes would have this personality. Sometimes I was a phony. Sometimes I was, you know, you never know if you're real or not, you know? But then there's those moments when, so it's like, who are you? You know, and I could see, I could create effects on people and stuff. This is all this growing up. I mean, it was really interesting. Why would this person like me? You know, I knew why I liked them, but why did they like me? Well, you said back in class that you didn't trust yourself. Why didn't you trust yourself? I didn't know who I was.